Hello, is this thing on? Mm hmm. Haha, that's, that's the dumbest way to start this. Um, hi, hello. Uh, my name is Jude, and I'm trying to do a math test right now, but I'm so distracted, so I figured I would just make a podcast in the middle of it. Because, yeah, I like podcasts, I think they're great, and I think I'm the person who in the world who shouldn't have a podcast. If you had to pick one person, you'd say probably Jude, because for a variety of reasons, like such as my voice, which sounds like um, one of those smoking commercials if it only showed uh, chipmunks who were ex-smokers. And I'm, I'm also just funny 10% of the time, and the other 90% is, is this. So, welcome. Um, yeah, I, I seriously don't know why I'm not just doing this math test. I mean, it's like, I can do it three, and it's currently 258. So, I'll, I'll let you know, if by the end of this, if I get it done or not, try to multitask. But, that's the thing, can I just focus on working and talking at the same time? No, I'm just going to end up talking the entire time, and that's what's going to happen. This is going to be really bad, and... Four people are gonna are gonna listen to it. Not even four. No, nobody's gonna listen to it. Am I even gonna post it? Well, if you're listening right now, that means I did. So, wow. Anyways, welcome to the Christian Boy Podcast. And as I said before, I am your Christian Boy Jude Mercer, and I do not swear. And I'm gonna accidentally swear at some point, and. I'm gonna make a real big deal about it, so let's just get out of the way now, and heckin' move on. See? There I go. Go off, Christian boy. Yeah, that's me. Um, I'm not a Christian boy because I'm a Christian and I'm like the only Christian around. No, like all my friends attend church and stuff, I'm just the only one who has a pastor for a dad, and if you have a pastor for a dad, you... You, you already know. Welcome, PK, Pastor's Kid Gang. You already know what it's like to live at a church. So, that's pretty cool. And I guess people hold me to a higher standard. Which is a terrible idea. Because I'm, I'm the least standard person to exist. Or out of, at least out of all the Pastor's Kids, I would say. Unless, like, something, something really funny will end up being a Pastor's Kid. Like, those... Imagine Jim Carrey as a pastor's kid. Then I guess that would that would that have to top me. Well, pretty pretty um big boy energy saying, oh, no, if someone's gonna compare me, it has to be Jim Carrey. But I love Jim Carrey. During this whole pandemic thing, I've just watched, I've rewatched all of the Jim Carrey movie movies. What the? Oh, that's the bird clock. It is currently Northern Cardinal O'Clock. I do not know why my grandparents would buy a clock that makes bird noises. And by the sound of that, that means my time is up. Oh, yeah, three minute podcast is over. No, it means my time is up for this test that, geez. Well, my dad sure is going to be excited about me handing in something late. So, I would focus on answering a question. Ooh, paper noises. I would focus on this, but then the podcast that I'm four minutes into would um, have to end. And I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to just straight up work on it. What was I talking about? Jim Carrey, yeah. Um, the Truman Show? I cry every time. You can't play The Truman Show and expect me not to, because it's just so beautiful. It's great. And he's like, oh gotta go good afternoon good evening good night and i'm like you son of a you son of a gun don't do that and man you're so good um yes man is funny haven't watched that in a while for obvious reasons um bruce almighty or is it evan almighty? no evan almighty is with steve Carell. bruce almighty that is a good very good very very good movie i really like that Smite me, almighty smiter. Smote. Smoth. 
what is the plural of smite? I've never, I've never actually looked it up before. Do you know what? To the two people who eventually listen to this audio clip, um, smite, plural. I spelt plural wrong. Smite, plural, we smite. Two person, you smite, you smite. He, she smites. Is it smitten or smote? A smite is smote or smitten, not smitted. Um, straight up bars for you right there. No, just, he's not sm smited. Smited isn't a word. It's in smote or smitten. Smitten. Smit. This is such a stupid word. I love it so much. If, if I ever have a kid, if I have kids, guys, one of them is going to be named either smote or smitten. Smote Mercer. That that is that is a cool name. Um, what other Jim Carrey movies do I like? Ooh, uh, the new Sonic one that everyone said was gonna be bad. His acting is probably the best thing in that movie. Honestly, it's it's, it's very over the top, but of course, when is he not? But not so over the top where it's not funny, but just enough over the top. Yeah. Wow. This. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to the Jim Carrey podcast, where all we do is talk about Jim Carrey, and uh, Jim Carrey is actually here right now. No, he's not. But yeah, he's probably doing something cool. But this so far six minutes into my podcast, then I've already just given the most melodramatic description of Jim Carrey movies. Like you care, which you don't. Two people watching this, you don't care about Jim Carrey, so. I don't know if this audio quality is good. I also now realize why podcast people have water. Because my mouth is very dry. So, I'm, I'm just going to keep going and continue avoiding my homework. Um, so, pandemic time. Woot woot. Gotta love, gotta love staying inside. I'm currently at my grandparents' house and they have... A backyard the size of two of my houses because they're white and rich so that's pretty cool um, yeah uh, nice change of scenery I would definitely definitely recommend if you wanted to like maybe visit a relative as long as it's safe and just well I'm here because um, they just need a young presence in the house my aunt and her grandparents so I'm here with all my spunk and all my Pizzazz. I've already taught them phrases like yes sir, which my grandmother gets offended every time I say because she thinks I'm calling her a sir, and I have to explain that the entire word is spelt Y-E-S-S-A-R, yes sir, which is a gender neutral, like bro, or guy, or dude, or male, all those gender neutral words that don't even matter. What's up my males, and hey, my fellow Hey, fellow cool cats. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, uh, grandparents' house. Mm, lots and lots of wind chimes. Which, and I, I've always wondered where the market is for that. What am I talking about? No, I'm not sitting at home like, hmm, but what? Who buys these wind chime things? Well, if you're looking for an answer, my friends, it's old people. We got, let's see, I'm, I'm right near a window right now. Let's see how many we can get. We got one, it's just a giant sunflower spinning back and forth, and then another sunflower, and then a yellow cowbell, it looks like. And a tree that is shaped like a squid that has wind chimes all over it. And there's a leaf, a dragonfly, another leaf. It's pretty psychedelic. Oh, and flags. Is that an actual Canadian goose? In Holy crap, is that? I can't tell. Sorry guys, um, in my pa in my grandparents' neighbor's yard, it looks like it's either a really good fake goose, or, it's, or there's just a goose standing there. Just, just chilling. Canadian, Canadian goose wouldn't be back. Canadian geese wouldn't be back yet, I don't think, so. <sighs> Myth busted there. <sighs> Jeez. Um... Yeah, uh, living with old people is definitely a very interesting experience. 10 out of 10, would recommend. Um, 
they're they're very they're very um confused about what to do with me. They're like, oh, uh, do you still like juice? And I'm like, well, yeah, I do. And then they come home with like eight cans of Five Alive, and they're like, you liked this when you were five. And it says five, but now that you're like 16, we figured you still liked it. And do you know what? I do like it. I do like really bad sugary drinks and stuff. Um, they have one of those uh, carbonated water things. Oh, that's a story. Okay, so they have one of those uh, bubbly thingies, those things that you put you put water in, and ooh, fresh, tasteless bubble water at home all the time. So I figured, you know what, let's try some juice. So I filled up the bottle with juice, and you're supposed to give it like three presses. So I went, shh, 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 and my nana was like, no, you did half a press. And I was like, okay, so I do a fourth one, shh, and then eventually I'm ten presses in. And I'm like, oh. Okay, so I'm trying to unscrew off the bottle, and you hear the big loud pop, which always comes, so we're like, hey, we're good, we got this. And then it just starts spraying everywhere, and it covers the entire family and all the floor in orange juice. Not orange juice, orange juice. So that was sticky and fun. Gotta love that. Still a five-year-old at heart, I believe. Five Alive, what kind of name is that? Like... Five alive. Is it like is it like a warning? Like oh, only five people are alive left. Only five alive. Four alive. Three alive. Like this is some kind of like really weird Hunger Games sponsored juice thing. Like oh, we send this in to the to, to the tributes. Five alive juice. When there's five people left, all the water turns to five alive. <laughs> no, that, no, that, no, that's interesting. Five alive. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, passing the time here is like pretending to do, um, math homework when you sh should be doing a math test. No, pretending to do a math test when you're making a podcast for no reason. That That's interesting. A very, very bad, <laughs> very, really bad podcast. Yeah, we're, we're coming after Curtis Connor's title. Or the very, really bad podcast. Um, yeah. Uh, stuff to talk about. Oh, um, Jackbox Games, if you've ever heard of it. It's this, um, online thing where, oh, you just play games with each other and you use your phone to connect with it. And it's like online board games. And my dad is obsessed with it. And it's all he can think about. And it's all he plays, and he somehow hooked it up. So you hook up your laptop to a TV, and his laptop screen shares his screen of the game. And we just play it all the time now. So we get our, all my cousins and their family together, and we play eight-player games. And I call in from here because they need a fourth player, and sometimes we play with the old people here. Mm. That, and that's funny because they're, they, they're like, takes so long to do everything so we played this one game where you it was like cards against humanity basically and you, you put you put in your own answers and stuff and it's not uh an appropriate card game so uh my grandpa actually won quite a few of those because he just made dumb spelling errors that we thought were hilarious like one time the question was what do you think a cow is saying when they moo and then he wrote his answer was i'm hungry but he misspelled the R, or forgot it, and he wrote, I'm hungy, just H-U-N-G-E-Y. And everyone thought that was the most hilarious thing, including me, okay? I, I'm, I can't center anyone out. I, I thought that was the most hilarious thing, and it won, because old people are funny, because they forget things. <laughs> Doof, oh, forgot, where are my keys and stuff, so, and it's like funny until... They just don't remember anything, and then they have to go to the the mental hospital places, which is get an F in the chat for those guys. No, it's so, all right. Uh, living the end of your life like how it began with like three phrases, and you poop your pants all the time. I guess that's nice. I mean, good for you, but it's really encouraging me to just die before I turn eighty. I'm just gonna clock out at. That's 78, and be done with it, and great grandkids, who? Well, maybe if I teach my kids to 
reproduce really fast. If I teach them the Mennonite art of reproduction, then we will have a chance at um, surviving. Oh gosh, it's 3.12. How long are we? 15 minutes in, and this video will be deleted in, in 20 seconds, and we have 15 minutes of footage. I say we like I have anyone who's encouraging me to do this. No, in fact, people will probably discourage me from doing this. But, do you know what? I'm not going to make a podcast at any other time. I have time now. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I'm getting the, I'm getting the whole thing down. And I can't hold a conversation with anyone downstairs. Because I did not attend the Civil War. Ha 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 ha. I get it, because they're old, and that's, that's the joke, because the Civil War was also old. I'm really afraid one of those going to come in here and be like, why is this guy talking to himself again? Like, oh, is he on the online? Get off the online, dude. Get off. Oh, great, my computer has shut off. You are hearing me from a iPhone before iPhones existed, one of the... I guess it's okay. It has fingerprints in it, but it's like one of those ones. I don't know what type it is. Really. Um, but let's hope the quality is good so I can delete it. <laughs> keep going back to saying I'm going to delete it. Because if I, if I keep saying it, maybe I won't. But I know I'm probably going to. Because this is a bad idea. I, I don't know where I'd post it. I don't have this set up recording my face, so, um, you can't just post things on S SoundCloud or whatever, so, there's that, um, what other, what other things can we talk about right now, hmm. I guess this is why you should have a script for a podcast, because right now it's just me rambling on about, about whatever I want to talk about. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, let's review Leonardo DiCaprio because I've just watched a ton of his movies again too because I, well, I guess the, the three actors I care about are Liam Neeson, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Jim Carrey because they each have their own subgenre and where Liam Neeson is just... Every Liam Neeson movie is the same. Oh, well, well ground, groundbreaking humor here. Guess what, everyone? Liam Neeson is in, like, the exact same formula for, like, every movie he's in. He got the Taken, got Taken, but his family's Taken, and he's on a train. Then he got Taken, but people are taking away people's lives on a plane. <laughs> and stuff. I actually have a few um, pitch ideas for some Liam Neeson movies. Um, uh, it's This first one is going to be called Liam Neeson public bus and there's a terrorist on the public bus who keeps airdropping uh memes to everyone on the bus and uh Liam Neeson has to figure out who who on the bus is doing this uh so, sort of like uh the commuter on a train and non-stop on a plane but on a bus so Liam Neeson uh, on a bus um Liam Neeson in a smart car where it's just he's in a smart car he has to fight someone. There's a terrorist in his smart car. The, and then the surprise twist, um, the terrorist is the smart car. And smart cars are trying to take over the world, so Liam Neeson needs to blow it up. And uh, finally, Liam Neeson double bike, where he's he was just riding a double bike by himself. And all of a sudden, this bad guy gets in the back and he's trying to stab him. So it's an hour and 40 minutes of Liam Neeson riding a double bike, trying to avoid being stabbed. And that one's gonna make you cry. Yeah. In all three, he is an ex cop, an ex, an ex cop, current detective, uh, insurance man. Uh, he he struggles with alcohol, and being a father. And um, he also died of cancer, Liam Neeson, but he's alive for the movie. Like that's that's important to the plot. That that's what he's avenging himself. That's why he's he's getting set up. But he's getting set up by, you guessed it, the smart car. And it completes the 
the eight movie series of Liam Neeson taken and then Liam Neeson on a plane, Liam Neeson on a train, Liam Neeson on a bus, Liam Neeson in a smart car, and Liam Neeson on a double bike. Full circle. It's great. You, you think that guy who made the Avengers was good? I'm out here with the Liam Neeson transportation trilogy. Qu quadrilogy. Qu sextuple tree? Okay, um... Let's see, um... Movie series with eight films name. I think I got it. Um, Octillogy. The Liam Neeson Transportation Octillogy. Now that is. Oh, it's already a book. Oh, dang. Mel Wayne. Mel Wayne. Well, looks like Mel Wayne beat me for the title. But, yeah, the DVD set of Liam Neeson having trouble with public transportation is uh, coming out soon. So, make sure for, to finesse that for your VHS. Alright. Um, I love how I said I was going to talk about Leonardo DiCaprio, and then I just started talking about um, Liam Neeson. Which is good. Um, I guess now we can talk about Leonardo DiCaprio and mainly Inception. Yep, yeah, that movie. That's the that's the that is the um, the uh, undertitle for it on the poster. It's like Inception. Yep, that movie. Because everyone knows what Inception is, I think. Um, and after watching eighteen million. YouTube videos on it. I think I understand the plot, which is which is great. Um, but I had to try to explain it to my grandpa, and that was that was weird. I don't know whether I should just give you a full movie review of Inception right now, or just talk about Inception, or if I should just drop this topic altogether and hurl myself out this second story window. Um, let's talk about the movie. Um, movie review Inception. Top notch. Um, confusing. Knee head hurt. Um, from watching that. Uh, like, what's a dream? What's real? Um, is the ending still a dream? We don't know. Actually, we do. And it's, no, it's not a dream. He gets a happy ending. But, imagine, imagine somebody having to. You, they break into your mind through somebody else's dream, and you have to notice it. I mean, I would, I would be screwed there because, because like, um, I wait, uh, like I still have trouble when I have dreams and I wake up and I realize how weird the dream was, and I'm like, what do you mean I'm not a T-Rex with an afro? Like, what the freaking frick, man? What after I was, I was so convinced that I'm, I was just living some. I'm like, what do you mean I can't fly and I didn't just steal fifty dollars from Danny DeVito? What do you mean? So like, if you if you gave me a realistic dream and had like, oh maybe one or two flaws, I'd 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 think I was just awake. I mean, I'm very dumb when it comes to dreams. My 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 dream self is a dumb legend, uh, dummy thick, dummy thick in the head. Oh snap! Yeah, I have these dreams and it's just like wow yeah well i guess i am made of plastic and also i have to save saudi arabia from a wildfire or something completely outrageous these these all sound like very specific threats no in saudi arabia if you're listening no beef no beef we don't got no beef you your forests are safe um can't say the same about australia though sorry no, no. I do love trees. I am an environmentalist. I am very passionate about the environment because I don't want to die, which I think sets me apart from most people because I think the world is great even though it sucks. But I think we should keep it around. At least the, the bugs are cool. I like bugs. Except bees. Bees? Bees? If you're listening, any bees listening? We got bees. I, I can't, I'm not going to keep doing that for everything I bring up. Um, 
yeah, bees. I hate bees. Looks like we're talking about bees now. Um, I hate bees. Just trivia for you. I do not like bees at all. Whenever, ever since like I was a kid, and a bee crawled across my eyeball underneath my sunglasses, and I was like, please, I don't want an eye patch. Well, actually, an eye patch would be really sick. And while I'm debating if an eye patch would be cool or not, the bee just crosses my eyes. The, no, the bee did not have cross eyes. The bees, the bee crossed my eyes. It was, it was mean. It was scary. He walked across them, and I was like. This sucks. Yeah. Holy, holy heck. Um, sweet flaming balls of fire, Batman. 25 minutes of this. Wow. My math teacher's like, dude, just hand in the test. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to hand in the test. Um, well, yes, but actually, no. I will not be handing in the test until well into the night. I do not know if I should tell her, hey, this is going to be late or not. I'll be fine. I don't care. I do care. Math is the funnest thing to do. And, and you can quote me on that. You can put that on a t-shirt. You can put that on my tombstone. Yeah, you can. Math is just the funnest thing ever. And I love it so much. <laughs> Sorry, there's a bird sitting on a chair outside, and it's funny, because the bird thinks it's a human. <laughs> You're not a human, bird. You get off the chair. Freaking, I sound insane right now. If you were to see it, and you'd be like, wow, that's a bird sitting on a chair. Like that meme of a frog sitting on a chair that my brother has died at. Like every time, the frog one, where it just plays, um... Kitty kitty or whatever. Kitty kitty, yeah. Here kitty, here kitty kitty. That's the, when you're trying to call kitty kitty in the club. Just like, here kitty 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 kitty. And he's like, we're trying to be great. And he just like comes out and then he starts licking himself. Yeah. That's not a weird thought to have. Uh huh. Yep. Just Robin's on chair. Yeah, the frog, the, the stupid frog picture of a frog. I hate him. You know what else I hate? The Ice Age baby. I hate. <laughs> we go over memes from the past eight months, and I just talk to you about my rating of them. Uh, I hate the Ice Age baby. He's dead to me. He's the most ugly child I've ever seen. People are like, oh, you love babies? Yeah. Uh, look at this baby. Oh, girl, that's not a baby, no. That's not a baby, that's a troglodyte. I don't even consider Ice Age baby to be a real human. And I hope he has a slow and painful death. No shade. Ice Age Baby, if you're listening to this, and if I see you in the street, I will hit you with my car. That, I definitely have a car. Yeah. Um, yeah, I should have a car by now. I'm almost 17, and I have my G1, and I was gonna get my G2, but then the world was like, how about you just stay inside for, like, ever? And I was like, alright, dude. So, um, no car yet, no no driving skills. I could definitely afford a car because I have more than twenty dollars in my bank account right now. <laughs> I have twenty two, so obviously I can afford a car. Vroom vroom in the streets. I don't think I'm gonna be one of those kids who buys a really bad car just to drive it. I think I'm okay with just either driving my parents' car or not driving for like three more years. So I can get a nice car and not one that looks like Mater from Toy Story. No, he's not from Toy Cars. Oh, the car is from Cars and not Toy Story? Yeah, yeah. W welcome to Pixar, dude. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so, uh, Ma no, no shade, Mater. Mater, if you're listening. No shade. But I want a nice car. I want a really small gray car. And I will only bump Christian Beats in there. So that no one will ask for rides from me. Because it'll be like, oh, you want a ride? Hope you like the Toby Mac Christmas album. It's all I have. And it's the one from 2013. So it's not even the good one. Which one's the good one, you ask? Well, um, any other one than the 2013 Toby Mac Christmas album. 
because you have to release a Christmas album for every Christmas, but you just sing the same songs and it's fine. No shade, no beef, Toby Mac, but come up with a different Toby Mac. Let's get you on the pod. Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about um you and your awful Christmas songs, and maybe we can write some new ones because it's always Christmas time here. Oh, you don't even know that. Well, um, my grandparents download like every song they ever hear, put it on one big iPod shuffle. The ones that look like they could be used as a defibrillator, those iPods, and they they just blast music all day. So you'll be listening to um, a redneck country of Dream On, a red <laughs> a redneck cover of Dream On. Yee yee. Uh, and then you'll be listening to Grunge Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. And, which is weird, because they are the most Christian people I know, ever. Like, my grandpa, there's a time where he run, he ran the Gideons. And if you don't know who the Gideons are, you know, you ever go into a hotel and you find those Bibles? That's the Gideons. He was in charge of, he put every Bible into every hotel, ever. So, when you're using the Bible, because the first thing I like to do when I enter a, enter a hotel room is just, like, flip open to Genesis 85 and just, like, read that sucker. Um, you can, too. Thanks to my grandpa. Papa. is You may call him Papa. Yeah. Which is interesting. Um, his name is actually William, but and his middle name is Paul. So he calls, but he goes by Paul. And then my uncle is named William Blair, but he goes by Blair. My cousin is named William Isaac, and he goes by Isaac. So, but I he I don't I don't know if he's gonna go and keep the thing running. So, um, we'll see if he names his son <laughs> William Smoat. William Smoat Mercer will be his child's name, and it will be great. We, we, we stand William Smoot. Mm, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, and if anyone else here is looking for baby names, you can't take Smoot. Smoot's mine. And he will be... <laughs> he will be me and my cousin's illegitimate son. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, no. If anyone's having William Smoot, it's me. So. Isaac, if you're listening... No, okay, I gotta say more than that, right? How long have we got? 32 minutes of complete audio puke. That's what we have. Wait, hold up. Okay, either my grandparents are yelling at each other, or they're having a rap battle. I don't know if I've said this before yet. I might have. I might be losing my mind. So if I've already said this, I'm sorry. But it still sounds like the rap battle is continuing. So I'll let you know who wins. I'll give you an update on that. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. We can talk more about them. They travel the world, my grandparents. They're always traveling. One year they went to China and got us um, souvenirs from Russia because China makes everything. So you go there and you can get souvenirs from all around the world because China has made those souvenirs. So cut on the middleman and just go to China and buy gifts from the Disney store and from Egypt and from everywhere else in the world because it's all came it all came from China so you don't have to worry about a thing yeah what is that they have a model boat and uh, I remember they used to have model ships and bottles I think before I probably broke them because that is my favorite thing to do. I look at a ship in a bottle, I'm like, well, it's cool, let me shake it at f full maximum capacity of shaking. And, yeah. Which is why I'm not allowed to sleep inside anymore, any anywhere I go. I live in a tent, and that is the moral of the story. Ooh, it is currently, right now, um, half past Cardinal. If you can read Bird Clock. And we are just three minutes away from the Downy Woodpecker. Huh. 
Oh my gosh, 12 is a great horned owl. That's not annoying at all. And the Baltimore Oriole. And the Belt Kingslayer. Kingfisher. Oh, that'd be a dope name for a bird, though. Like, Kingslayer. What was that, like a woodpecker just like flew into a, some monarch by accident? And that's how the Pope died, folks. You heard it here first. Every Pope has died due to a bird-related accident. Because birds aren't real. Full circle. Birds don't exist. Confirmed. They are government drones sent to kill the Pope. And you can quote me on that. Of course. Yeah. Of course. The Pope. I don't get the Pope. <laughs> no, we're not, we're not going into this topic. Wait, are we? Haha. <laughs> Unless... No, I don't get, I don't get the point of the Pope. It's like, you want to like Jesus, well, you got to also like this bald man in a beanie, because Jesus, yeah. And, and then all the Roman Catholics are like, okay, sure, that sounds right. What's up, beanie dude? Let me kiss your ring. And a religion was born. And I don't really understand it. <clears throat> First episode, we're already, we're already making big strides towards Toby Mac and Catholics. Is always a good sign. You're in for a treat here. This podcast that will never be published anywhere. Um. All right, all right, all right, all righty then. Oh, oh boy, this is this is a long one. Ha! Ah, that that's what my girlfriend said when she took a look at my list of personal problems. <laughs> oh boy! Wow, that's. It's huge. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's absolutely massive, dude. Oh, bruh, that's just oh, so big. I know. And th that's what I said. I said I know. Yeah. Um, this is this is garbage. Uh Yeah. Um Ah, oh, I saw this map. You, you, why am I procrastinating so hard? Why did I literally like, oh, oh no, <laughs> 10 minutes until <laughs> my, my math homework is due, <laughs> better make a podcast. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it seemed like the right course of action to do. Because I am a grade A dumb, dummy, dumb, dummy, dumb, dumb, dumberson. That is me. I am not smart in time management. And I will never find time managing skills. And I'm pretty much okay with that at this point. I don't care. Um, yes, 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 sir. Yeah, yes, sir, Nana, if you're listening. Yes, sir, one word. I'm not calling you a sir. Um... My Nana's actually really good at painting, in case you didn't know. In case you don't study Jude's Nana in uh, your current high school experience. Uh, yeah, she does a ton of paintings. Just looking around this room, there's like several of hers. Of, of houses and trees. She, she really likes trees and houses. That's for sure. And pictures of her family. You ever look at a picture of your family and you're like, Whoa, my parents... Are, might have been attractive for their, that day and age in the olden days and out of all those cases I'm right because if I am to be gorgeous then my parents have to be gorgeous so there's two Swedes and everyone looks weird and interesting and my dad currently he has more of a Jim Gaffigan vibe to him which is great Jim Gaffigan love to have you on the pod uh, for sure, one hundred percent. Um, yeah, yes, sir. Mm, sweet, yeah. Um, I actually learned a lot in the past few days about where I come from. Apparently, I'm Swedish, which I already knew, but my grandmother felt like she wanted to tell me again and make me look through all the books again. So, I'm currently. This is my fourth time learning that I'm Swedish, which is great. One hundred percent Swede. She's always the worst kind of white person. We're like, oh, what's your ethnicity? Like, where are you from? I'm like, oh, I'm Swedish and German and saltine. Those are those are my ethnicities. And those are always like, just just say you're white. I just go with white. We're like, no, but where do you come from? I don't I don't know. Like, 
I come from a place of white people. <laughs> Sick. And that is my life. I'm actually 116th First Nation, which is insignificant, but still my mom felt to write it down, so I had to I accidentally was put in a First Nation support group in school where it's like, oh, you can all hang out and be buddies with each other. Which was awkward, because I'm the whitest guy there, and they're like, ooh, I am Suntense Bear, man. I am, I am this. And they're all like, have these super cool names, and they're the coolest people. And they're like, oh, I'm very connected with my ancestors. And they're like, what about you, Jude? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm Jude. Mercer. What tribe are you from? The, f the first one, the First Nation tribe. Yeah, but, but which, which tribe are you from? First Nation. I'm from the First Nation. And then I was immediately kicked out of that meeting, so. No, just awkward when there's a white guy who doesn't know what he's talking about. I feel like the history has, just loves, history books love talking about white guys who just don't know what they're talking about. Like, <laughs> like George Washington. Haha, <laughs> dude. Or, Okay, really, out of all the white people I could have picked, I picked George Washington. I guess you can't tell I'm studying American history, so. Gotta talk about old, old, old washy boy. We love old washy boy. Um, yeah, uh, my throat is so parched, dude. Holy guacamole. Man, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. I've <laughs> uh oh, better get my work done. I'm already g gotta get my work done. And by work, I mean a podcast. That is awful. Well, um, 40, 42 minutes. Wow, I, I thought I'd get maybe 10 minutes in and then give in to the work, but nope. I can avoid work like nobody's business. Which is a special skill I've adapted over my many years of life. I'm just great at it. Um, yeah, come on, I can find, I can think of one more thing to talk about. I'm a very talkative person. Oh, I'm going to an online birthday party today. Which is like, mm, I guess cool. I, lo I love how it was sent. My friend Jillian, every day she just sent me the same picture of her pointing to something. It's like 10 days until Jillian's birthday, 9 days until Jillian's birthday, all the way down to today. And it was just like... Thank you, because if you didn't do that, I would not remember it was her birthday. I have already just forgotten, like, my bestie Becca's birthday. Becca Denunzio, if you're watching this, sorry if we have beef from that. But, yeah, I, I'm a very forgetful person. I don't even remember my own birthday. I only remember, like, my brother's birthday and Jesus' birthday. I don't know which is which, but one is on June 27th and one is on April 4th. Nope, July 4th. Nope. December 25th and that is a certified fact right there for you that Jesus is born on one of those four to two dates obviously and my brother is born on the other one by default so that's cool I think my birthday is around like around 9-11 which is a really messed up way to remember it but I I, I, I mourn, I mourn for them and stuff. I don't, I straight up think that was not cool. Hot take, 9-11, hated it, not cool. But I've learned that the American society really bonded after that. And everyone was like, no, we're tight. And Americans can set aside the fact that they hate everything to be like, we actually love each other and hate all the green parts of non-America in the world. So that's just beautiful to me. Um, 44 minutes, yeah, do you know what, I'm gonna wrap this up. <sighs> Here, if, if you've made it this far, if this somehow gets posted somewhere and you've made it this far, you deserve a gold star. So, gold star to you, good job, you've done it, you, this, all you, all you get is this verbal recognition and a whole ton of nonsense words. I hope you've learned something, which you obviously haven't. Um... And, 
And uh, the, the message of this whole thing is just, remember, Toby Mac sucks when he makes Christmas albums. When he makes normal albums, he's good. But if he tries to sing about Christmas, it sounds awful. So, yeah. Um, thank you, though, for listening. <laughs> I pretend like this is some serious thing when this is just... I, on my, my last YouTube channel, surprise, surprise, it got maybe no to 16 subscribers. So, I don't know how this is going to work out, but if you somehow got a hold of this, if you're finding this on my dead body after I throw myself out of this window and get attacked by a bird, because we all know I am the next Pope, um, and you listen to this, thank you. Uh, I have been Jude Mercer. Still don't know what this thing is called. The Jude Mercer's The Christian Boy Podcast. Uh, thank you for listening, and I will see you in, if I ever get so dumb, or probably wasted and do this again and by wasted i mean on communion wine and just on the love of the lord okay well see ya that was so dumb <laughs> just ends it like that no but but seriously thank you for watching and if i make another one of these you will know because it'll be just as bad okay bye